deputy. Look. Anyway, short answer questions. Here we go. Here's the magic list. So rephrase the question. Beautiful, like you do that because A, the examiner needs to remind themselves what the question is, and you can help them with that. Um, B, the examiner needs to know that you know what the question is. You do that, so rephrase the question in a couple of sentences. Um, and oh, and the other thing is you've got something down on paper. Nothing worse than a blank sheet of paper, is there? Scary, scary, scary. So, uh, so write something, even if it's just rephrasing the question. Rephrase the question, define the terms. So before you do it, of course, you want to work out how Cullen's built his marking guide, but define the terms and, um, um, and, and you're getting marks for that straight away. Address each element. So, so subscript to that. Work out where Cullen's going to give two marks for this, two marks for that, two marks for this, two marks for that. So address each element from theory. Draw an example. So spend your time, again, look at the book. Look at what it is that's going on out in the world. Draw an example and, uh, and really important, make a conclusion. So don't just finish. Come back to the question was, the question was how do consumers choose using the compensatory decision rule? I calculated the numbers, I showed you an example and, uh, and therefore I deserve all the marks. Give me the marks. Um, and, uh, and really importantly, I see it all the time, it kills students, stay on topic. Okay, so you don't check yourself every couple of sentences and make sure that what you're saying is on topic. Um, okay, here's, here's my tips and, um, and quick, as, quick as you like. It's, it's, it's a cheat, but I mean we work with the system. It's not a cheat, but it's a, it's a play, uh, but we work with the system we've got. Come up with, work out what the important things are, and then write down these things that we call mnemonics, memory, memory tricks, and go, right, need it. This was from years ago when it was taught as need identification, but uh, NIEPP. This is, what I, this is what I went into my consumer behaviour exam in 1992 with, uh, NIEPP. So, uh, so, um, so, and then you, the trick is, what should I learn? But then that's why we do it. Um, that's why we do revision, and then you load up these words. Now, what I do before I, what I used to do before I went into an exam, I would be, I would just be remembering the words. Okay, so you walk into the exam. In the reading time, you don't write. You get your green sheet of paper. First of all, you write down all these words: N I E P P, um, B comes, whatever, whatever these stupid words are. And uh, you, first of all, you just get in. That's it. When people say, oh, I'm really nervous about it, this exam, I'm, you know, I'm ready to go in, I'm really nervous, I go, I used to say, leave me alone, I'm remembering my words. And then you go in, you write them down, and then take a breather, and then you go, need identification, information search, evaluation of alternatives. Okay, it's, it's not a cheat, but, it's, but it is an end run around this stupid system that says we're not allowed to take stuff into the exam. Um, so write them and uh, there you go, you've got a green cheat sheet as long as, as, as if you'd taken it in with you. Um, allocate your time. The question, how many pages should I write, is the wrong question. The question is, how many pages can I write in 18 minutes? Because that's it. Allocate your time. If you've got a 10%, uh, then you've got 180 minutes in the exam. Well, you've got 18 minutes to write question four. So as you're writing, run your stopwatch or your clock or whatever, and you go, bang, OK, no problems. And, and that's it, you're over. Um, lovely. Answer an easy question first. There'll be at least one question in there. I would suggest there's about four questions in there that you'll just eat. And, uh, and so just do the ones you eat first. Now, the other thing, the other thing, put the questions on the front of the exam. It drives us crazy. Because the first thing we do is we look at what questions everyone's done and then I allocate them, I have to count them, and then I allocate, right, well, somebody marks three questions, somebody marks two questions because more people have answered those two questions or whatever. Um, and, and the very first thing, if you haven't written the, the, uh, uh, the questions on the front of the paper, somebody has to go through with a green pen and that means every time we mark, your paper has got the green pen on the front saying, oh, that's the guy who didn't mark, uh, put, the, put the numbers on there. 
Simple but easy. Uh, simple but real, that's what I mean. Um, live in the world of examples, that's all I can say, is, uh, is uh, assignments, experience, readings, whatever. Uh, the prep, half of it is living in the world of examples. So, uh, so I urge you to do that. So uh, we'll use the lecture slides, in particular the core concepts, plus that other thing I've said, the self-check tests. Um, you know, the text is good. Get back to it as you need to. Um, listen to watch the lectures. Oh, th that, really important. Going alone, hard work. You know, even if you're a bit of a... a as I am a bit of a, a bit of a uh, loner, um, it doesn't work in this situation. You know, work with people, and uh, and that's how we how we get ahead. Make sure they apply to the world, and uh, 